It is 4.30 in the afternoon. I had my full work day at the office. I always go to the office on Mondays and it's always very busy. A lot of things are going on and it's hard to vlog. Plus, I'm always really tired on Mondays because I have a young adults group Monday night. So I'm rushing home to change and then go to that. So I'll probably get a few clips, but not too much because it's just Mondays are busy, so we will have more fun content tomorrow. I just had a sneezing attack <laughs> as I was about to vlog. Sorry. <laughs> I look and feel like death. So today I'm going to teach you how to get through when you look and feel like death. <laughs> kind of kidding. But on a real note, I am starting to feel very stressed and overwhelmed this month. Has been just really crazy. My stress eye twitch is back, which if you were watching my college vlogs, I always had a stress eye twitch. So I want to use the rest of this vlog to just kind of show you how I go through my normal work week while trying to recuperate and refresh myself i'm gonna try to do things that i know are good for me that will help me feel better because i think i need that but first as you can see i'm driving we have a breakfast meeting for work so we're gonna go do that i worked at the office i'm going to my annual woman's doctor appointment now super fun and what I'm going to do to take care of myself while I have this doctor's appointment is normally I have to wait for a long time while I'm sitting there just waiting for the doctor to be ready. So I brought my book, which is Fourth Wing, and I'm still reading that. So I'm going to read Fourth Wing while I wait. It also will make me a little less nervous because I just get nervous with these things. They're just uncomfy. So... I'm gonna go in there and get it over with and read. That's my plan. I finished fourth wing. It's upside down. Fourth wing last night? You're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. It was so good. I honestly was getting a little bored right before they went on their war games battle. But once that happened, it just got crazier and it left off wild. So I am invested in the world. And it looks like I'm going to have to get Iron Flame now. So that is the update on that. I'm just sitting here watching a little YouTube video while I eat lunch. Then I'm going to get back to work. But what I did for myself today to feel better is I allowed myself to sleep in because it's a work from home day. I went to the gym. Really didn't want to, but I asked the Lord to give me motivation so that I would do it. And then I made myself a real breakfast. I made an acai bowl, which I haven't been eating real breakfast lately. I felt really good about that. And that's kind of what's happening now. So just going to keep working. And then Alec and I are going on a little date night tonight. So more fun things to take care of me.
I just love this area. Don't you? Good morning. It is 10:43. I went to a work meeting this morning. Then I drove to the other side of not even the same town, just a different town to go to Barnes and Noble. I got my mom's birthday present and then I also got Iron Flame. So, yeah, this one is bigger than Fourth Wing. That's such a commitment that I don't know I'm ready for, but here we are. The only thing that I'm not quite sure about, I'm setting you up in a weird spot. I don't like these little covers, so I always take them off. However, this looks just like Fourth Wing. It's not a different color or anything, and I think that's kind of boring. So I don't know if I should just keep this so that I can have it, but I threw away the fourth wing one. So I don't know what to do about that. Kind of regretting that now. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go work at a coffee shop while I'm out here. And then I'm going shopping at the mall with a friend. So that's why we're hanging out in the area. One thing about me, I love watching nostalgic Disney movies that I grew up watching. I will be watching those and I love doing it. That one, the Heffalump one came out in 2005. That would have been five years old. And I will be watching that while I eat my dinner of breakfast burritos. That is what I will be doing on Thursday night. The most ultimate form of self care right here. to do a tiny little haul of what I got from the mall when I went with my friend the other day I got my Easter dress this cute little number has little flowers on it this is like me in a dress I almost was like do I really want to get a green dress when everything in my life is green and I did so this one's from Altered State next I got this brown skirt it is a tiered skirt kind of looks like that and it's from airy i think it'll be really cute i try to get bottoms that are not just jeans I'm trying to mix things up make myself look a little bit cuter jeans and leggings are my normal attire i also got some shorts from their Eagle. They're Bermuda shorts, so they're long, but if I cuff them, they look pretty good, I think. I said they're from American Eagle already. 
but just plain blue. And then the last thing I got was pajama shorts because they were on clearance from Airy. And that's my little haul for you. I started to feel like as this week progressed that I felt better and I would do things that would make me feel good. And that is the most important part. You kind of just saw the highlights of those. I didn't show too much of me working this week, but you saw me going to the bookstore and the mall, hanging out with my brother and stuff like that. So you kind of got to see the highlights that were not work, which is fun. But on a different note, I was talking to Alec about my health goals because I don't know about you, but ever since I graduated college last May, my ability to force myself to do anything that I don't want to do is this big. I have zero discipline anymore. I think it's because I spent so many years pushing myself that I just can't push myself anymore. I'm just suffering the repercussions of being burnt out for so long, but now that we're almost a year after I graduated, I really want to get into gear about my healthy habits, goals for myself, all that stuff. So Alec and I were talking about my health goals and I am starting this week, I did start it, only having one sugary drink a day. My problem is I'll have like coffee in the morning and then like a soda in the afternoon or evening so I'm trying to limit that so yesterday I've done it two days <laughs> yesterday I had a Starbucks drink because I was at Starbucks obviously and then today I had a rebel from Dutch Bros and I want to tell you how hard that is to only have one sugary drink it's actually been really hard to break that habit so I'm trying my best to be more disciplined. If you also struggle with this, let me know. I'd love to make a video separately about this because I'm having a hard time being disciplined with myself. There's some habits in my life that I've been able to fall back on, but there's some habits that I've had horrible times breaking, such as the sugary drinks thing, not snoozing my alarm, but I'm also reading Atomic Habits while I'm doing this, so maybe that'll help. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do this for you. And if you like self-care type of videos, check out this video up here and i will see you whenever i see you next bye guys